I think of a naturalist as an educator and someone who can translate the language of nature to ensure that you leave knowing more, not only about an incredible place like the Georgia coast, but more about you. The biological world is all tied together. So I'm Stacia Hendricks and I work with the Lodge on Little St. Simons Island as a naturalist and director of special projects. My relationship with Georgia's coast began in 1984. I was working as a research biologist with EPA and realized that I needed to do something where I felt like I could save the world. I have sunk my feet into the landscape of Georgia's coastal region and have never looked back and feel so privileged to be here on Little St. Simons because this island really is the jewel. And so I've had the utter privilege of being able to knock around the woods and the shores and the marshes of this coastal region since 1984. There are fewer and fewer places like this in the world. Georgia's coastline is unparalleled. This landscape supports creatures from as far away as Chile and the Arctic. That's why these places are important to support that continual process, and also to feed your soul. One of the things that flows through the Georgia coast is a lot of water. And the water that flows down the Altamaha River that comes from as far away as Atlanta and Athens, Georgia, is nourishing the landscape, which is an incredibly abundant habitat. Another thing that we are just beginning to understand is not only what flows from here, but what flows through here. And that is a river of birds. And we're just beginning to understand more about their journey and where they go in the summer. And they spend their winters here in this extremely rich Delta region of the Altamaha River. It's the greatest grocery store, I think, on the East Coast for a bird. In coastal, southeastern United States. We're on what is referred to as the Georgia Bight, which is we're the westernmost point on the eastern seaboard. If we go out to the ocean beach, standing on the shoreline, and we're looking east to sea, for every mile we go offshore, we only get four feet of fall. Mile, four feet, mile, four feet. This, this feature is what creates this amazing tidal region that we have here. And the things that we have is maybe time stamps in time in terms of what, what is abundance and how do we measure it? And I think of the many, many generations that have come before us and what they've seen and what we see going forward. And what I can hope for is that we have the wisdom to continue to conserve this and learn more about it what flows from the Georgia coast is a continually growing understanding of the critical importance of this region to the entire world.